Virginia Tech head coach Frank Beamer and his senior quarterback Jim Druckenmiller led the Hokies to their second straight Big East title in a top 10 ranking. All-America Cornell Brown of the Tech defense plan on keeping them there. Tom Osborne's Nebraska Cornhuskers faced hard times in their defense of the national title with losses to Arizona State and Texas. They are number six in the polls. But the Huskers have vowed to stick together. And with that always powerful rushing attack, they look to run past the Hokies tonight. It's Virginia Tech and Nebraska meeting for the first time ever at the 63rd FedEx Orange Bowl, next on CBS. Tonight, the FedEx Orange Bowl begins a new era as the Orange Bowl is no longer played in the Orange Bowl. The game has moved a few miles north of downtown Miami to beautiful Pro Player Stadium where the Nebraska Cornhuskers have found their way to the new home. It might be a new ballpark, but they are familiar faces. They're in the Orange Bowl for the fifth time in the last six years. Thwarted their hopes for the unprecedented third straight national championship. Virginia Tech kicked off by Jimmy Kimball down to the goal line. Returned by Kenny Cheatham. And he got banged down at the 24. And as Lou Holtz mentioned, both teams outstanding on special teams. On their own 25, quick throw by Frost. Brendan Holbein. And the split end on a gain of five on the pass to Holbein. Damon Benning starting at I-back for Nebraska. Injuries at I-back, so Damon Benning, ordinarily a third-string player, gets the start. Schuster, the fullback. Wiggins at wingback. Holbein, the split end, and Tim Carpenter, the tight end. They'll use three tight ends tonight in a rotation. Outstanding offensive line. A change tonight. Josh Heskew starts at center. Aaron Taylor moves to guard. Chris Dishman from guard to tackle. And on the right side, Zaniska and Anderson. Benning is a first down and more. Out near midfield. For Virginia Tech on defense, Cornell Brown is an All-American defensive end. Joined up front by Waverly Jackson, Kerwin Hairston, and John Engelberger, who's playing with a broken nose. Morrison just made the tackle. Brandon Simonis, an All-Big East linebacker, with Myron Newsom, also an All-Big East linebacker this year. And in the secondary, Lauren Johnson, Torian Gray, Pearson Prelo, and Antonio Banks. Benning weaves across midfield. Frost appears to be changing the play on second and five. Goes to the quick pass, incomplete. Pass over the middle for Benning. He's dropped short of the first down. Jesse Cush is the punter. He's a junior from Columbus, Nebraska. He's had a great year. And it bounces near the goal line. And Virginia Tech will open out of the shotgun with Jim Druckenmiller at quarterback. Remember, they never huddle. No huddle offense the entire game. And Oxendine stayed in the block, and the long pass is caught and then dropped by Sean Scales. He On second and ten. The rush finally gets to Drunken Miller. It's Grant Wistrom, the All-American right rush end. For Virginia Tech on offense, Ken Oxendine is the tailback. Marcus Parker for the suspended Edmonds at fullback. Scales and White, the wideouts, and Brian Jennings, an all-Big East tight end. The offensive line average is 305 pounds. Haygood, Washington, Connedy, Danapoli, and Washington again. The Washingtons are brothers. Loss of four on the sack, third down and 14. Drunken Miller again, scrambling for his life. Dumps it for Oxendine. Just his fifth catch of the year, and it results in a first down and much more. Ken Oxendine all the way to the 42-yard line. After they blew a chance for a huge play to start the game on the drop pass. Now back to the run. Two of the four defenders up front with Jason Peter and Jared Tomich, a great defensive line for Nebraska. Jamel Williams is the team's leading tackler. John Hess, the middle linebacker. Ryan Terwilliger for the suspended Farley and Will linebacker. Michael Booker, Eric Stokes, Mike Minter, and Ralph Brown, the secondary. Colorado not well against Texas. He's back in the secondary. And Terwilliger starts at linebacker. Chuck and Miller with a lot of time. Has a man open. It is incomplete. Another ball that could have been caught. 
and only one in the last seven games. He's under a heavy rush, and he throws it away in the direction of Marcus Parker. Mike Fullman standing back at the 10. Very high punt. Fullman bang down immediately. Outstanding coverage. Peter's starting defensive tackle the last two years in Nebraska. On first down, the handoff to Damon Benning, and he gets very little. Defensive coordinator said if he was 6'2 or 6'3, he'd be a first round draft pick in the NFL. Crossed on the roll, drop pass. So we're seeing drop balls on both sides now. Wiggins plays for him. Edwell is also the holder on kicks. Screen, and Wiggins bounces off a couple of hits and has the first down. With Lance Brown, where's number 14? The pitch to Benning, and he's in trouble. Banged down by John Engelberger. Put a Band-Aid on and said, what are you waiting for? Get back in. And he did. On second down, long pass. Wiggins drops another. I think they're just trying to get the defense to back off a little bit. Frost appears to be setting up a screen. It is deflected, and it falls incomplete. Cornell Brown. Bush is averaging 44.7 for the year. He nearly got that one blocked. Deion Carpenter almost blocked it. He's blocked three this year. 13 months is a disgraceful off the field record. On first down, Oxendine. The total package for his bursts of speed. He's a power runner. And he picks up a first down. Out to the 40. Some scouts have him rated as the top senior quarterback in the nation. Oxendine, second down and seven. And out of the shotgun. Jackie Miller's pass deflected, still caught. For a first down in the Nebraska territory, Brian Jennings, the tight end, with 5.15 remaining in the first quarter. From the Nebraska 48. Jackie Miller got away from Thomas. Now runs, and to Williger. Collard him. Credit him with eight yards on the run. He rushed for 205 yards during the regular season. Now he's running the option. The pitch to Oxendine. Druckenmiller tried to throw a block and helped the call. Eddie Tech scored at least 20 points in every game in the regular season. First time in school history that's happened. Oxendine hit right at the line of scrimmage by Minter. Said his family missed living in Blacksburg a great deal. Second down and nine. They don't even rush Druckenmiller. It's a screen for Marcus Parker. Nice move. Marcus Parker scores. Struggling physically with back and leg problems, but no problem on that extra point. There was some question about whether or not Graham, the freshman, would be able to kick tonight. The Hokies a big underdog, but leading by a touchdown early in Miami. Underdog of any major bowl game this year. Kibbles kicked off. Sends Cheatham back to the one-yard line. Kenny Cheatham trying to run to some open field wide and didn't get there. Michael Stewie on CBS Sports. Fullback Joel Makavica, 24 seniors playing their final game for the Huskers tonight. Jay Sims in at eye back now. Makavica and Sims in the eye. We still have not seen Amon Green or D'Angelo Evans. They're top two rushers, both bothered by injury. Sims applies a stiff arm and a face mask against Lauren Johnson. Sims with the football. Tackle from the inside out by Johnson. Has a big hold of it. The question is, it looks like it's the 15-yard yes, variety and not the five. And the penalty gives Nebraska first down at the 47-yard line. Frost has some running room, is going deep into traffic, and it's nearly picked off at position with the absence of Farley. Sims. Third down and two. The pitch to Sims. He has a first down inside the 40. To come up and make the tackle. Throws, man wide open, Lance Brown has it inside the 20 and falls down at the 15-yard line. End zone. End up. Macavica 
At the end of the first quarter, the score, Virginia Tech 7 and Nebraska nothing. CBS Sports coverage of the FedEx Orange Bowl will continue after this message and a word from your local station. They're down 7 to nothing. Marcus Parker on a screen pass, went 19 yards for the touchdown. Cross the fake and kick. And now down behind the play. On the draw, Sims tripped up short of the first down. The ball popped out, but the whistles have stopped the play. A 25 yarder. He's 12 of 19 for the year. Six of six from between 20 and 29 yards. Matt Turner is a new holder, and the kick is just good. <laughs> Looked like it was going to miss to the right, and it just did hook back in. <laughs> Tom Osborne has had to sweat out more than one field goal in the Orange Bowl games over the years. Huskers on the board at 7 to 3. Side of the highway up there, he's driving. That's on. right. Chris Brown kicks off. Good kick. Scales watches it bounce out of the end zone. And Jim Drecken Miller calling signals. Head ball. Offsides on the defense. Five yards. Still first down. First team all Big East this year. Oxendine upended. Stiff for most of his time on the sideline. Virginia Tech picks up the first down. Virginia Tech leads 7 to 3. Early in the second quarter. Interesting game going on between the Nebraska defensive backs and Druckenmiller. He's checked off three in a row. And they snap it with one second on the clock and scales. But it was in the AP poll because there's a preponderance of those as compared to Big East people. Druckenmiller dumps it off. Great job to get it to Marcus Parker. And they actually turned it into a gain of about a yard. Back squats 500 pounds and has the record in hang fleet at 405. That's better than most of the linemen. Michael Stewie with the catch. Team photos of the Huskers in their house. Dad says he's a host keeper. I hope you the way tonight. Oxendine. I'm not sure they accomplished that goal in attendance in their first year in the new ballpark. Druckenmiller going long for Stewie. That's too long. The fullback Brian Edmonds. A blitz from McFarland and they get to Druckenmiller. Second sack of the night for the Huskers. The Huskers drop three men back to receive the punch. Low wobbly kick from Jimmy Kibble. This regularly run back by Fullman. Mike Fullman with an excellent return. Brought down at the Tech 45. A ring. He had his eyebrow pierced on the trip here to Miami. We asked him why. We still really haven't figured it out. Amon Green, his first carry. And it's a dandy. And whether or not he can cut. Quick throw by Frost. Has a man. It's caught by Kenny Chatham. First and goal of the five. Virginia Tech leads seven to three. The option. Frost keeps it and scores. A good block by their fullback, Makovica, after he faked option, came down and made a great block on the linebacker to enable Frost to get in the end zone. I don't see a flag on the field, but the officials are having a conversation. After the touchdown, hit ball, personal foul on the defense. Will be assessed on the kickoff. Brown for the extra point. And Nebraska leads for the first time tonight. It's 10 7 Cornhuskers with 9 14 left of the half. Because of the personal foul penalty on the touchdown, Brown kicks off from the 50. Looked like he was trying to entice the game now for Nebraska. And Ken Oxendine rips through that new unit and is close to a first down. He was the second leading rusher in the Big East this year behind Omari Walker of Boston College. Marcus Parker with the first down and much more. Violation of team rules. He has got much more yardage than the 467 he had coming into this one. Oxendine. Second down and six. Nice move by Oxendine. And he slipped on that paint again. The first down. Nebraska leads 10 7, second quarter. Oxendine crossed midfield. Saturday in prime time on CBS Sports. The handoff. Marcus Parker from St. Paul, Nebraska. 
Third down and six. Drucken Miller runs and he has the first down. Quarterback Donovan McNabb. Seventh play of the drive. Huskers up around the line of scrimmage and as a result they stuff the run. Play action fake. There's McFarland again. And Drucken Miller dumped it off for Oxendine. This time they're going to call it a sack. You can't call that dead. Third and 20. Huskers showing blitz. Drucken Miller flag thrown in the area in which you'd expect a holding call. Ball thrown and caught. Four first down at the play stands. Ken Oxendine. Bring it back. Yep. Now they shift into the eye. And ball lost and picked up by Jason Peter. Touchdown, Nebraska. Mike Rucker knocked it loose and Peter ran it in. And rather than just run into the line and punt, they went to a slightly riskier play. The option is not a big play for them, and it hurts them. You know what? It's not that it's a riskier play, but it's that for the first time today, Druck and Miller, Miller made a very poor decision. Chris Brown adds the extra point. 17 unanswered points by Nebraska. Yeah, you can't let Nebraska separate like that. It's just, it's so hard to catch up to them with their great defense. Chris Brown's kick bounces into the end zone. Tech back to its strength. Play action fake. Drunken Miller under pressure. Jennings the tight end. First down. First and ten. Each team with three timeouts remaining. Nice move by Oxendine. Oxendine in the clear. Eric Stokes able to run him down at the 21-yard line. And Oxendine up to 99 yards rushing on 12 carries. Movement. They snap the ball. To Offsides on the defense. Five yards. Still second down. Where opposing offenses get to this point of the field. And off to the fullback, Marcus Parker. This is second down and four. Wouldn't be surprised to see a corner route against man-to-man -man coverage. Oxendine took the toss. And changing the play. Tried to draw him first, now he's changing. They snapped it with five on the play clock. Parker up the middle, it's going to be very close. First and ten, they can pick up another first down just inside the two-yard line. Now the shotgun now, Drunken Miller a pump, and then he threw to Cornelius White. And he tried to scramble the yardage there. Parker, the back, lined up to the left of Drucken Miller. Blitz, Drucken Miller into the end zone, to the coverage, and caught! Ripped away by Scales! It looked like it was going to be intercepted by McFarland, and Scales took it away from him. How did that happen? Poor decision by Drucken Miller. Ball should have never been thrown. Poor pass, and they end up with a touchdown. You're right, he approached it to McFarland like he was fielding a punt rather than run at the ball and separate himself from Scales. He was in perfect position to That's make it. the pick and didn't. Is whom Sean moved in, he kept his life on track. Eighth grade coach took him into his own home. Long time since the Nebraska offense has been on the field. Frost does air it out and it's incomplete. Down around the 33-yard line of Tech would do the job. Now they go back to the run. I'm on green. The end of the first half, the score in Nebraska 17, Virginia Tech 14. Pat O'Brien, Craig James, and Coach Lou Holtz will be along with college football today. Right after this message and a word from your local station. So the Tech defense is accomplishing what they want against the run game. Ken Oxendine rushed for 101 yards in the first half. Virginia Tech receives the second half kickoff. Sean Scales took Chris Brown's kick of the five. Nine of 14 in the first half for 109 yards and two touchdowns. He also had a big fumble. Oxendine running free again. Gets a block from Cornelius White. Gave the stiff arm to Mike Minter. Could he not miss two and a half games with an injured shoulder? Time. They just did get the playoff. Drucken Miller throws in the flat. Scales grabbed by the shirt and corner. They can also run. Well, he's been bothered by tendonitis in his knees. It's limited his practice time. Oxendine. 
The pump by Justin Miller, and White never saw the ball coming. He had a step on the defender. Outstanding wide receiver core that they had. They're good, but not great. Very high, short punt by Kibble. Not what he had in mind. It bounces out of the 26-yard line. He's got a lot of years left in him. On first down, Damon Benning who started the game at I back. Powerful run. He's an all-east guy, but undersized. The leading tackle coming in. I'm not sure we called his name tonight. We have it. On target to Jeff Lake. Out of the 41-yard line, first and 10 Husker. 12-17 remaining, third quarter. Nebraska leads by three. Damon Benning. Here comes Lawrence Phillips, end of story. Second and six. The option by Scott Frost. He's across midfield. And down to the 45-yard line. A block he should have, and he knows it. Frost, after the fake, has a man, and it's overthrown. He wears number 33, and wing back. Frost, look out, there's Simonis. Frost got it off and throws it incomplete. And two tight ends, Damon Benning, the lone back. Here comes the blitz. Simonis again. It is caught. Rashawn Jackson tripped up short of the first down. It's a big tackle. A wing or a power eye, which they're in right now. It's Benning with the first down. All he needed to do is get to the 35. He bounced down to the 33. Benning, the lone back. Two tight ends in the game. Ninth play of the drive. Benning through a big hole. Touchdown, Nebraska! Yeah. Well, the backside guard and tackle pulls. Zadiska and Anderson do a great job. Benning goes north and south. That's what I like about him. Shows more quickness than people give him credit for. Dances into the end zone. Chris Brown out of the hold of Matt Terman. The extra point is good. And for the second time tonight, Nebraska has a 10-point lead. That's the largest lead of the night for the Huskies. Damon, BYU looking for record 14th win this season in the Cotton Bowl. Brown's kickoff again goes out of the back of the end zone. Virginia Tech trailed by 10 points in the first half. A late touchdown to make it a three-point game of the break. Nebraska scored first here in the second half. Under pressure, it's dumped off to Parker's juggling catch. Oxendine and Parker in the eye. Drunken Miller shifts them out of the eye. He wants to go deep. Has Cornelius White out there. The ball is caught. And then he lost the football, and they're going to roll it incomplete. Oh. Third down and two, and Parker with a tough run to get the first down. Nine Huskers up around the line of scrimmage. Duncan Miller wants to go deep again. Again, single coverage, and the ball's overthrown. <laughs> Snapped it with two on the play clock. Oxendine dragging tacklers across the 35. They come. The rush well picked up. Drunken Miller throws a strike. That time it's caught by Brian Jennings. Only had 12 catches in the regular season. That's three tonight. Seventh play of the drive is a run. Third down and seven near midfield. Nebraska leads by 10 points. Drunken Miller stood in and fires a ball into Jennings. First down. The ball in the country. Oxendine. Wrapped up and driven back by Jared Tomich. Florida State. Great to see assistant coaches get recognition. They do so much great work. And the pass incomplete off the hand. On third down and just more than 10. Safety blitz. Drutke Miller throws. Has a man. This time it's caught by White. Touchdown, Hokies. Great job of recognition of the safety blitz, both by the quarterback and the wide receiver. And a sigh of relief on the Hokie sideline as the ball was caught. <laughs> Shane Graham, the freshman, out of the extra point. Once again, it's a three-point game at the FedEx Orange Bowl. Third down and ten. Back to a three-point game. Kibble pops up a short kickoff. 
Fielded by Benning at the 16. He has a lane. David Benning brings it all the way back to the 39s. Only one possession in the second half for Nebraska. They scored a touchdown. Benning proud of his players on both sides tonight. Frost in trouble on the option. Turned it up the field. Heck of a lot more to learn on the option game here. On third down. First down picked up by Damon Benning. First and 10 at the 49. Frost peels back to throw and throws behind it. Second and 10. Option pitch. Benning. A lot of green grass ahead of him. Torian Gray and Cornell Brown. Huskers lead by three points late in the third quarter. Third down and three. Frost, a lot of time to throw, and it is caught. Still in its only prior possession here in the second half. They're moving again. Quarterback draw. Frost, and it is Simonis. Second and six, eighth play of the drive. The fullback, Makavica. And he didn't even hesitate. He said, Mom's the best. Another third and one. Frost keeps. Tenth play of the drive. It's first and ten. Nebraska on the move. Benning wants to throw. He throws to the end zone and flags are down. Interference against Lauren Johnson. 24 down to the 12. Fourth penalty tonight on Tech. Three on the defense. Frost, the pitch to Benning. Good catch of the low pitch. And College Football Hall of Fame. Second and goal to six. Benning stumbles to the goal line. Touchdown! <laughs> Touchdown of the night. Brown adds the extra point. And once again, the lead is 10. For the third time tonight, the Huskers have a 10-point advantage late in the third quarter in Miami. And Nebraska leads again by 10. This Brown will be trying for a touchback again. Not this time. Scales will have a chance to run it back from the five. They needed well to get to the 20. Be on offense against the Tech defense. Under the last play of the quarter. That's the end of the third quarter. The score in Nebraska 31, Virginia Tech 21. CBS Sports coverage of the FedEx Orange Bowl will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Second and 10 on the first play of the fourth quarter. Virginia Tech at its own 20. Brockton Miller under a four-man rush. Has to drop it off in the flat. Oxen die with some running room. On a block from Sean Scales. And Marcus Parker. Brockton Miller forced to burn a timeout. And just a four-man rush. And Drucken Miller's pass is incomplete. Another than Peter. Possibility Wistrom might forego his senior year. That decision he made after this game. Drucken Miller decides to run. Excellent decision. Jim Drucken Miller slides down at the 41 yard line of the. Great job on Wistrom. Deep drop, Drucken Miller. He runs out of time. Now he's going to run again. Slides at the 31. Second and one. Lots of time still on the play clock. Oxen dying. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. He's back at the 50 yard line and in a heap of trouble. Oh, what a big play. Whoa. And it gets worse for yep. Virginia Tech. You give yourself a realistic shot on third down. Under 13 minutes remaining now. Drucken Miller throws short. Another drop by Jennings. And. Lots of men up around the line of scrimmage for Nebraska. They shift into the eye. Or on draw, something like that. Drucken Miller going deep again. Scales is out there. It's too long. Overthrow. Another short, wobbly kick. Fortunately for Kibble, it took a bounce. Coleman flags down a clip against Cheatham, a very obvious clip. Using that system. We've got 12 minutes left in the game. Jay Sims, the eye back now. Good fake by Frost. Man wide open, and it's dropped. Wow. Sims remains the eye back. They give it to the fullback, Schuster. He's out near the nine yard line. And with Nebraska leading by 10. Third and six. Frost throws. First down. And almost 
breaking free with Shevin Wiggins. Three catches for Wiggins, all of them on third down. Clock under 11 and a half minutes remaining now. Braun has an alley. And he's close to another first down. He did this season in the memory of Brooke Perry. Nothing fancy on second and inches, the fullback Schuster. First and ten. Jay Sims. Another good gain on Full House backfield now. And the pitch. Back to Sims. He goes out of bounds. Virginia Tech has burned two timeouts. Hokies have only one remaining. And it's a very tired looking Virginia yep. Tech defense. Iron Edmond, backup linebacker, are not here. Ordinarily, they'd be second teamers. Frost throws, and it's caught for another first down. Tom Osborne's had great success with walk ons over the years. More than 100 players dressed for this game, many of them walk ons. Jay Sims. Come on, Green back on the field now. The only back behind Frost. Two tight ends in the game. Frost turns it upfield. His shirt tackled at the 20 yard line. The game clock down to 8.05. Third down and three. Frost. Simonis didn't contain him. Frost throws to the end zone. It's incomplete. Another man open. Another pass off fingertips. Chris Brown. Trying a 37-yard field goal out of Terman's hold, and it is good. A sophomore from South Lake, Texas, Chris Brown, gives Nebraska its largest lead of the night. Now 13 points at 34-21. All time in the Orange Bowl, only two and seven under Tom Osborne, but they'll always remember their last appearance here as they won their first national championship for Coach Osborne. And they shift once again into the eye. Parker and Oxendine. Truck and Miller running away from Tomich. Took it down and through, and it is incomplete. Situation here for Al Clark. And they don't ask him to do anything too dramatic. A handoff to the fullback, Parker. Only a four man rush, but they put pressure on Truck and Miller, and his pass is incomplete. No, he's not had a good night punting. Low liner. It is cut by Octavius McFarland. And he gets banged down by Jamel Smith. He took every hit. He came with field position. And Nebraska's had a great edge. And fresh legs from Amon Green. And he's all the way down to the 33 yard line. The fastest player on the team. Blocking 4 3 4 in the 40. This is fourth carry of the night. And he is wrestled back down to the ground. Second down and nine. 540 remaining. Nebraska leads by 13. Green. No big surprise there. A loose football. And it's recovered by Nebraska. Frost is going to throw. As all day. Has a man. The tight end has a first down. Green still an eye back behind Makavica. Frost in trouble. Gets away from Engelberger. But not from Simonis. Second and 11. And off to the fullback. Frost has a lot of running room. Frost inside the 10. Touchdown. Great run by Frost. Now, at some point, we're going to have to give Scott Frost the zoo. He's done a great job here. Number 67, Aaron Taylor on the seal. Amon Green was supposed to be there for the shovel pass. Never showed. Frost had the presence of mind to cut it back. Let's see if he breaks the plane of the goal line. Look at the stretch. He may not be a great runner, but he's laid now for Nebraska with his kickoffs time after time into the end zone. This one will be returnable for Sean Scales. Started at the eight. They hand it off on a reverse. Cornelius White has some running room. Looking to pick up blockers. He gets blocks. Cornelius White inside the 30 and all the way to the 25-yard line. Drunken Miller operating out of the shotgun. Four-man rush. Drunken Miller throws to the man open. 
Bradley Miller flushed and throws it over the head of Oxendine. Second and ten. Inside handoff. Cut back Oxendine. He third down and five. They fake it to Oxendine. Bradley Miller throws incomplete. Fourth down and five. They could get a first down very close to the goal line. Drunken Miller has a lot of time. Throws a strike incomplete. New quarterback for Nebraska. Matt Terman, the senior from Wahoo, Nebraska. Hands it off to Amon Green. He's 185. Green picks up a first down. The country that they were a legitimate top 10 power. Perhaps they'll still have to earn that respect. Interesting, Jason Peter told us about the phone call he had from his brother Christian Peter. Christian Peter said, when I came to Nebraska, you can't, pal. That really was the biggest play of the game, the 31-yard fumble return, the only turnover of the night. Terman showing off his rushing ability. Corey and Gray, the tackle. And the 63rd FedEx Orange Bowl is history. 20-point win. With Tom Osborne in the Corn Huskers. 41 21, the final. Fourth straight year, Nebraska has won 11 games. And for Tech, a 10 and 2 finish for Frank Beamer. For Mike Mayock and Dave Logan, Sean McDonough saying so long. We'll join Pat O'Brien in New York. Happy New Year.